Curcumin is the principal active ingredient that is found in turmeric, a spice derived from the rhizomes of curcuma longa. It is a yellow pigment responsible for the color in curry dishes. Preliminary evidence suggests that curcumin may benefit in reducing the risk in many types of cancer, although not enough research has been done to determine the most effective and safe dose. Curcumin has a strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Curcumin does not come under the classification of drugs. How safe it is and how much excess for it to cause any side effects has not been specified yet. All medication must be approved by the Food and Drugs Association or FDA. However, since curcumin is an herb, they do not have to follow such protocol. But the U.S. Food and Drug Association Association classified curcumin as a generally recognized as safe food additive. According to UCLA professor Greg Cole, curcumin is poorly soluble and poorly absorbed in the body. As a result, curcumin is given in high dosages. Although the curcumin dosage may be high, no serious adverse effects has been reported in human taking curcumin. According to a biomedical literature from medicine, healthy volunteers were administered increasing dosages of curcumin from 500 mg to 1,200 mg. Results showed that 12 grams dosages were safe and that only 30% of the volunteers experienced minimal toxicity that happens to be not dosage related. An article about a phase 1 clinical trial in Taiwan administered curcumin in patients with precancerous conditions. The patient in this study experienced one of the following high-risk conditions, recently resected urinary bladder cancer, arsenic Bowen's disease of the skin, uterine cervical intraepithelial neoplasm, oral leukoplakia, and intestinal metaplasia of the stomach. For three months, curcumin was taken orally starting from 500 mg dosages. No toxicity is found, so the dosage is increased until harm is found. The study concluded that dispensing 8 grams per day to patients for 3 months reported to be well tolerated in patients with potentially cancerous conditions. In another clinical trial in the UK, participants with collateral cancer supplemented with curcumin ranging from 0.45 grams to 3.6 grams per day for 4 months tolerated the dose, although two patients reported nausea and experienced diarrhea. Determining an accurate curcumin dosage to treat specific diseases is still a goal for researchers. If we want the long-term health benefits of the antioxidant, it must be able to enter the bloodstream. Put to mind, that is not how much curcumin you have consumed, but is how much is absorbed into the bloodstream. There is no minimum requirement for curcumin per day. Dosages for best outcomes have not been found out. As of the moment, common recommendation of curcumin capsule supplements are 400 mg to 600 mg, three times a day. But one can always powder a large amount of the ginger turmeric in their soup, vegetables, and other dishes. As a general recommendation, you should see first your health practitioner when planning to take high doses of curcumin, especially when you are having other health prescriptions or when pregnant or when undergoing surgery.